Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist is not real. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist is not real. The person you think they are is not real. That character does not have its own objective, independent existence. It's something that was interjected into your mind, where you unconsciously incorporated that attitudes, values and qualities into yourself. Because you're mourning, you're grieving the false character, which may make you believe that it's real because it's in your mind, but you've actually just absorbed the qualities of an external object into your psyche in the form of an internal object or mental representation, which then has an influence on your behavior. So you're giving your power to something that has no independent existence of, the, of its own. You're making them appear more valuable and special than they really are. As though there's something highly desirable, but difficult to find or obtain. And it may seem that way while they're with you, but take a look at their chaotic and disastrous lives after they've left your side. Watch how they live after they've left you. And then you will realize that they weren't so special after all. They were only special by your side. Because as an empath, you stimulate interest, activity and spirit. You gave it life and excitement. You created the specialness. Everything around you appears more special because your energy and emotional state gives out a feeling and atmosphere which is communicated to and felt by the narcissist. It's a distinctive feeling and quality which is capable of being sensed. It's your aura or energy field. It's magical and inspirational. It changes the narcissist's energy. And you may feel this attraction towards them, but it's your energy. You have created it in them, which is why they behave very differently when they're not around you. But when they're in your presence, they're arrogant and entitled, and even more full of themselves than they already were. When nothing about them has actually changed, they're exactly the same as they were before they met you. You've just surrounded them with this atmosphere of magic. And when they're not around you, they leave it behind. And then they're no longer that special. Because the only reason it feels special is because of you. Which is how when you see how they've gone on in life, there's nothing special about them at all. There's nothing good about them. They've just fizzled out because empaths have this magical energy about them. You radiate positive energy, self-confidence and optimism, which makes the narcissist appear more special because they're being moved by your energy. You bring the excitement and activity, but other times they dismiss your energy because they're low on supply and they're not feeling too good about themselves, so they take it out on you. But any time that it feels magical, it's only because of you. Which is how they have the ability to ruin the energy that you create. Because that energy is coming from you. So they bring their energy around you, and it's offensive and unpleasant unless you choose to uplift them. Because when you do that, it's fair and easy going. It's happy and magical. So the narcissist may seem special while they're around you. But once you stop talking to them, and you see what they're doing without you, they don't look special at all. They just look special internally once you've interjected them. 
because they're attached to your energy and the vibe that you're creating. They're better with you. And that's the only reason why they have a hard time with you. Because they felt like they didn't have enough of you. They didn't have enough of your value. So they felt like you treated them unfairly. They're bitter and resentful. Because when you leave, their life falls apart. So then they have to go to a rave just to match that same type of energy. They have to go to clubs and act like they're having such a great time without you. When really, they're not happy at all. They're just trying to distract themselves. They're trying to get their mind off of you. Because when they leave, they fall apart and go through difficult things. But when they're with you, they're much more calm, confident, and in control of their emotions. Because that's how you are as an empath. You're not easily moved, upset, or disturbed. You're sane and when well balanced. You're steady and secure. And it is very attractive. Because you're engaging in certain behaviors and activities with a conviction of progress, success, and moving forward to such a degree that they have to match your energy. But then when they leave you, they go back to doing what they normally do, which is a very foolish mistake on their end because you made them appear as the special person that they wanted to be. As an empath, you elevate everyone around you but it also feeds their ego and makes them more arrogant so then they don't want to listen to you and they're never going to they're always going to remain in a secondary position which means that they will only get poor results while you will heal and move on and this is how you've got them acting like they're on the same wavelength to where they think they're special because what you're doing is special. But they were never doing anything special with you. Well, that is what you should desire for your future when you do meet the right person for you. Where you have strong feelings of friendship, love, shared beliefs and experiences that unite you while all you received from the narcissist was nonsense. You just masked it with your energy and aura. You made it seem like something it wasn't. You made it look better. When they're in your energy, it brings out the best in them. It makes their positive qualities more noticeable. But when they leave you, they see that there is no one else like you. They can't find another empath. While when they were around you, they felt alive and free. Because everyone who is around an empath is better. It's just that they chose to go against you. And that is why they get the results they get. While people who listen to you, like you, and understand you, the most are the best people they have better energy and when you're together it's special which is why whenever you have something whether it's a relationship or you've got a new job it's something everyone is jealous of and it's because of your energy that's what makes everything that you have so attractive to other people it makes everything look fun. But when the narcissist decides to leave, they end up ruining their own lives until they finally try to come back to you. Once they realize that there's no one else out there, there's no one else who can make them feel the way you do. Because it's like they had the winning lottery ticket 
and they just threw it in the garbage. They acted like it was nothing. And that is why they later obsess over it. Because they took it for granted. They assumed that it's everywhere. Or that they could find something better out there. Because they already had their way with you. They had you under their thumb. So they decided to leave thinking that they could do better. Only to find that there is nothing else out there. It was you who made them feel the best they had ever felt in their entire lives. Now they're never going to find anything like that ever again. They come to this realization. They feel regret. They experience a sense of loss over a missed opportunity and it hits them like a ton of bricks. And they can't get you back because while you were around they took you for granted. But with your absence, they feel a sense of loss until they're left to settle for a life that is far less fulfilling when they once had something fulfilling with you because you made them feel special. You made them feel like they were the only person in the world as though they were the only person that mattered to you. And most people in this world are not going to be able to make them feel that way. Which is why when you leave, they fall apart. Because they don't have the energy that you have. While well, you had a false beginning with a fake person. With someone who is not who you thought they were. Which is why what you could have created will never become a reality. Because they were never that person. Which is why you didn't go together well. Because at first they may have seemed to be that person. But then you realise they're not. And when you wake up to that. There's conflict. Which is why they play a lot of games. But when it's all said and done. They will feel a sense of loss from your absence. Because they didn't know what they had until it was gone. They didn't appreciate you until they lost you. Until they realized that there's nothing out there that's even remotely close to you. And that is a very unpleasant experience for them. Which is why, if they want to mess things up with you, let them. Let them go out and experience other things. Because they won't be able to see past you. And they will realize that they had the best thing with you. But if you take them back, you will be making a big mistake. Because they left thinking that they could replace you. And they're only coming back because they realize they can't do it. Their plan was to leave you. And to leave you feeling like you missed out on something. But when they do that, it backfires on them. They're doing that to you because you made them feel special. But even that wasn't enough for them. They got greedy and they still wanted more. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.